Welcome to this video where we will learn about the legendary Saiva Saint Tirikuripu Tonda Nayanar. He hailed from the ancient and holy city of Kanjiburam. Present day Kanjiburam is situated on the northern bank of the Palaru, approximately 75 kilometers southwest of Chennai. As the great Nambi Aruran of the 8th century in the Common Era is the earliest known saint to have praised Tirukuriputondanayanar, we can confirm that he has lived prior to or during the 8th century in the Common Era. Tirukuriputondanayanar's Guru Puse is annually celebrated on the Swadi Nachatram of the Tamil month of Chitre, which is usually from mid April to mid May. Circular Swamihal has shared Tirikuriputunda Nayanar's glories with the rest of the world in his magnificent Periyapuranam and has dedicated 128 Periyapuranam songs to his life story. Now we know a few details about Tirikuriputunda Nayanar, let's learn a bit more about his story. In the wonderful lands of Tonde Nadu, which had done great penance in the past, to be blessed as the location where the all-loving Divine Mother of all, Umayammayar, who has infinite mercy towards all living beings and protects everyone according to their karma, herself performed a magnificent and arduous meditation in full accordance with the Agamas and Vedas and in full dedication to the incomparable all-loving Sivanar who then graciously in response took the form of a Sivalinga made from earth whom we can be blessed to see even today found today in the ancient and magical capital city of Tondainadu in Kanjipuram, where the Divine Mother is known as Kanji Kamaji and Elavar Kulali, and the Lord Himself is known as Urhambaranadar. In the prosperous land of Tonde Mandala, where Kanjipuram's fortified walls stand tall, where gleaming rivers rich with gems flow and glide across the Kurinji regions, where eye-catching peacocks can be spotted, where bees make flute-like melodious humming sounds in Kurinji pun, and where energetic bees sip the fresh nectar from the flora of the Mulle areas where the sounds of drums reverberate, where fish such as carps jump and break through water surfaces in the lush green Merudam areas, where pearls are washed and dried in the coastal Nathal areas. In Tonde Nadu, loving cows and deers happily grazed beside each other Settlements based on mountains had abundant supplies of red millet flour, honey and rice soaked in milk. Nature was truly embraced in nature-filled locations. Rice, sugarcane, fruits and ghee were found in abundance. Healthy trees housing jackfruits and dangling mango trees set protected by fences. Ponds bursting with vibrant red lotuses cooled the green landscape. Rivers gushed through channels and intricately planned pathways and aided farmers in their irrigation works. And the farmers would then sing and shout in delightful joy. Abundant Kondre trees decorated the 
the naturally beautiful scenery with golden petals. The people of various professions and trades worked honestly and upheld their dharma. In this great area lived an amazing and flawless Sivanadiyar who was born into the clan of washermen and was himself a washerman by trade. He joyously and mindfully served the Lord's devotees and understood their true needs even without them verbally stating them. Such was his loving nature and his steadfast focus on serving the dark blue throated all loving Lord's holy feet and his loving devotees that he completely dedicated his mind, speech and body to serving Sivanar's dear servitors. And it was due to these magnificent qualities that he was known as Tirikkurippa Thondar. Generation by generation, Tirikkurippa Thondar's family were great servitors of Siva Perumar. And Tirikkuripu Thondar continued this great way of life and shone in leading by example. In Kanjiburam, the city whose fame had spread far and wide, where chariots and horses could be heard from far, Tirikkuripu Thondar enthusiastically and with natural ease performed his job of cleaning the clothes of Kanji's citizens. Yet he wasn't just a mere washerman. He lovingly washed and cleaned the clothes of the Lord's loving servitors. Those servitors who, even upon hearing Sivan's name, would melt in pure love. The almighty Siva Veruman who houses on his matted hair the roaring Ganga, the shining moon and hissing snakes. Tirikuripu Thondar cleansed and removed dirt from devotees' clothes, devotees who lived in full dedication towards the Lord's lotus feet. Not only did he physically wash clothes, but spiritually, with the Lord's grace, he washed away the three malas, the three impurities of pride or arrogance, selfish activities and illusion. In Tamil, they are called Mummalangal, Arnavam, Kanma and Maya. Such was Tirukuripu Thondar's pure heart and devotion towards Sivan and Sivan Adiyars that he washed away the three malas. The all-merciful Lord wanted to bestow his grace on this incredible devotee. Thus, on a cold day, during the colder part of the year, the Lord decided to walk towards him. Siva Veruman came in the form of a poor and old man who was very thin. This old man also appeared as a devotee of the Lord for he wore the sacred ash. The glorious feet of the Lord who took this specific form walked in small steps towards his dear devotee. He had sacred ash smeared all over his glowing body and wore one dirty rag which looked just like a dark cloud. Tirikuriputtonder was delighted to see a devotee of the Lord and overwhelmed with love and respect. He respectfully bowed down and rose back up. 
The hairs on his body stood straight as he was thrilled beyond joy to see a devotee. Such was his love towards all Sivan Adiyars. Tirukuriput Thondar then spoke kind words with this old devotee and with respectfully folded hands asked him, O oh, great devotee, why is it that you look so thin? Your rag also needs to be washed. Kindly allow me to wash your rag clean for you. In response to this kind request, the Lord who was in disguise and had cleverly hid his blue neck, said, Though this rag is very dirty, I don't part from it as my body constantly dreads the cold. I will only give this dirty rag to you if you can ensure me that you will return it before the sun sets into the western mountain. Tirikuriputonder was delighted to have been given this opportunity to serve a devotee and excitedly responded, Please do give this to me. I will without delay wash it and return it to you before sunset. The Lord, disguised as the old and frail Sivanadiya, said, If you do not wash it, dry it and return it to me before this agreed time scale, you will be harming my body. And saying so, gave his dirty cloth to Tirukuriputonder before going away. Tirukuriputonder delightfully took this dirty rag with him and washed it clean in the ghat, which was surrounded with many fragrant flowers. He then applied the earthen powder he usually used for cleaning clothes before steaming this rag. As he was thinking of applying the final wash to this rag given to him, it was past midday, and such was the Lord's will that suddenly rain started pouring down. Thick clouds gathered in great numbers, and the clear sky suddenly became dark and cloudy. As darkness filled all directions, the rainfall became blindingly heavy. Tirukuriputonder thought about the promise he had given to the glorious old devotee. He stood bewildered and dazed. What can I do? he thought. Tirukuriputonder thought that the rain which was ceaselessly pouring would naturally stop as it always does and patiently stood. But this rain was different. And the rain, it truly rained. The darkness of night soon came. Oh no, I failed in my duty towards the great devotee. Saying these words filled with sorrow, Tirukuriputondir fell down in great distress and grief. The rain has not stopped. The time set by the great Tapasvi has now passed. I could have fulfilled his wish if I took the cloth home and dried it in the wind. I had not thought of this method at all. I am now the cause for this great harm done to the old and frail servitor of the Lord. I am such a lowly servant, so this is what I should do now. And thinking in such a way, he got up. He thought to himself that as he felt he had no more purpose for this body, he would dash his head on the granite stone he usually used for washing clothes. 
Tirukuripu Tonder resolved to do this tragic deed. And just as he was about to dash his head, the flowery, glorious hand of the all-loving Urhambaranadir appeared suddenly and stopped his dear and loving Sivanadir from causing any harm. The rainfall suddenly transformed into raining flowers and the all-merciful Sivanad appeared in the sky in his glorious Rishabharuda form. Tirukuriput Tondar was overwhelmed with joy and melted in love for the Lord. He stood awestruck and with his hands folded in worship. The three-eyed Sivanar then gloriously said to his dear Adiya, We have shared your glorious devotion with all the three worlds. May you from now on abide forever in our eternal world. And Urham Baranadir blessed his glorious devotee with eternal bliss before disappearing into the shrine of Urhambara. The glorious life of Tirukkuriput Tondanayanar and his pure and sincere devotion towards the Lord and his devotees has been immortalized thanks to the all-merciful Siva Peruman's grace. Let's explore some of the wonderful compositions glorifying Tirukuripu Tondar, sang by some of the Lord's dear devotees over the centuries since Tirukuripu Tondar Nayanar's time.
ஊல்ஹயோ த லெஜண்டரி திருக்குறிப்பு தொண்ட நாயனார் 